as a two decade member and past chairman of Loveland Planning and Zoning Commission, but as a private citizen who has gained extensive knowledge on the downtown Loveland parking issues during my many years of service. All new commercial developments in Loveland are required by code to provide adequate parking capacity for their operations. Usually there's a, a chart where so many square feet of retail needs so many spaces, except in the historic district. And in the historic district, because it's so landlocked and tight and, and limited in space, any new development can ask for a, um, a, a waiver from the parking requirements, and basically we automatically grant it because they would just, they literally have to, if they want to open one building, they'd have to buy two to tear it down. As a result, over time, the demand for parking spaces has grown to a point where the demand far exceeds supply. For example, often when Barb and I come downtown for dinner, we'll have to circle the big square block for 10, 20 minutes to finally land in a parking space. Year by year, the situation has gotten worse and the future growth of the historic district. We have two new restaurants just opened. They did provide probably about 18 spaces, but that barely covers the staff. It doesn't do anything for the increased parking required by their, their, their customers. Several traffic studies and recent wide-ranging in-depth survey of love and citizens has shown that the need for approximately 250 additional parking spaces in the historic district is considered by a majority of residents a critical need. I mean, in my subdivision, they know what, what I do with the city, and they're, they're constantly, the one thing I hear is parking, parking, parking. Preliminary studies indicate that a two-level garage is probably the best solution to solving our historic district's parking deficit. A parking garage will allow the addition of a maximum number of new spaces on an already city-owned vacant site, which in turn will minimize the disturbance of the overall character of the downtown historical district. In spite of the obvious needs, several groups are strongly opposed to the concept of a parking garage. They say we need more studies. Not true. The need for an increased parking capacity is now obvious and, and approaching a critical state. They say that the parking garage will adversely affect the Little Miami River. Also not true. The state of Ohio has pretty strict requirements that any new development requires stormwater retention. So like right now, that lot is grass and gravel. The water flows off at a certain rate. After it's developed, it'll actually go off at a slower rate. There'll be a retention pond, which will effectively reduce downstream flooding in like Milford and other cities below us. One of the solutions proposed by the opponents of the parking garage is to install signage and direct the excess cars in downtown Loveland to the parking lots at the Miami Township's Miami River, Riverview Park. The only problem with this so-called solution is that this park is the site of many youth athletic events in the spring, summer, and fall, which are already full of parents, grandparents attending their children's shopping events, sporting events. To sign parking from Loveland to go there, I don't think would endure us to the Miami Township because we would make our problem their problem, and that's not being a good neighbor. So we've got to solve them ourselves. One of the things I looked at was, okay, what if, is there any additional parking space that could be utilized for downtown? So now I've got some audience participation. How many of you during an average normal week, I am not during a special event, like the 4th of July firework show, have parked at the Shopper's Haven parking lot and walked the half, half mile to downtown Loveland for dinner. One, two, okay. How many of you again during normal week, not during Christmas in Loveland, et cetera, have parked in the lot in front of the Goodwill store? That's the only quarter mile from downtown. And walk downtown Loveland from the Goodwill store parking lot to partake of adult beverage. Not many, I don't see any hands. Now those opposed to the concept of a possible Loveland parking garage are demanding a vote by the citizens of Loveland. I submit that vote has already been taken. Last year we had a councilmanic election. Those candidates who oppose the, the, the construction of a parking garage as a solution to our parking issues were not very successful. The members that are on seated now either supported the garage or said they'd give a fair shake to it. I do. 
Okay. What I do suggest is that council establish a parking facility committee similar to the Loveland Industrial Development Committee. I served on 48 years ago. This committee would be able to include a diverse group of stakeholders and provide valuable input to the council members as they address the downtown Loveland's parking issues. Thank you, sir. Thank you.